Deborah here from AI Deborah here. Today we're gonna talk about how to get some metadata from our data, such as bounding box, coordinate system, and geometry types. And also we learn how to create new layer with new fields and write in your desk. Follow us on Instagram, GitHub, LinkedIn, and anywhere that you come across to my AJ brand. Push subscribe button. Let's go. Well, uh, sometimes you also need to know general information about data sets such as number of features, special extent, it means that the minimum bounding box, geometry type, is it a point, polygon, multiple point, what is the geometry of your data, a special reference system, for example, is it WGS84 or not. And you have already seen how to get the number of feature in a layer with a get feature count, if you remember. And we apply it into the layer, not the data source, because the layer contain feature, geometry, and uh, attributes, actually. Uh, but now I won't talk about spatial extent. Uh, the spatial extent is like the minimum rectangle uh, that fit around your uh, shape file. Let me get special extent from a layer dot get extent and also I can print extent let me run as you can see this is the extent of your uh, data but if you want to know uh, what is the uh, format of this uh, I will tell you this is the format of uh, get extent it means this the first one is minimum x the second one is max x uh, the third one is a mean y and the last one is max y and also I want to show you we can get it data from uh, QGIS if you want uh, from a layer, let me at the first add some layer, vector layer, Manhattan zone as always. Uh, this is my uh, Manhattan zone and now I want to get a special extent. I go into the plugin and if you don't have Latlon tools, you, you could go into the manage and install plugin and uh, choose latlon tools actually if you don't install it uh, you should install from here and uh, actually push install button but i installed before i choose latlon tools and go into the copy extend to clipboard and uh, copy canvas extend as you can see this is my uh, x and special extent coordinate uh, this is copy into my clipboard, uh, I open it some note and I paste it here. Uh, and if you want to know what is the format of these uh, coordinates, uh, you can go to the plugins, lab loan tools and the setting. In a minimum box a capture, you can find that uh, this is the format of your uh, coordinates and you can choose the other option uh, if you want it uh, as you can see these formats uh, are different from this one because this is lat and latitude and longitude but uh, i will get uh, these uh, coordinates from epsg because of that the coordinates are different <music> Also get the geometry type from the layer object uh, by geometry type but at the first you should know about the OGR module uh, I will show you here uh, the OGR module has a number of constant uh, showing this figure uh, for example the constant for a point is W Kobe point uh, and also for a polygon is W Kobe polygon uh, but if the layer has a um, geometry of a varying type, such as mixture of points and a polygon, the geometry type uh, can return us WKB unknown actually. 
Uh, WF Kalbi is a stand for a well-known binary. It means that it is not human readable. It is a binary. Uh, I will show you how we can get a geometry type. At the first, I print, for example, layer dot get geom type. Let me run. Uh, as you can see, it is not really human readable. It gives us three, but we can check it by print, uh, for example, a layer dot get zoom type. Is it equal to, for example, OGR dot uh, W copy polygon or not? Let me run. It will uh, give us true, but for example, if I change it into the point, it will give us false. I don't need to debug at all. Wiki point. As we can see, this is a false. Uh, as I said, this kind of geometry type is not really human readable and you should know about the OGR module. But I want to show you something else that uh, you can get a geometry type but a specific feature that is a uh, human readable and it is easy to get. For example, uh, at the first I should get a feature by, for example, layer dot layer dot uh, get feature and uh, then uh, I write it for example print uh, I get a field uh, dot geometry from a geometry you should get it uh, the geometry type name I use get geometry name let me run we have something error here let me check get feature actually it has index uh, because uh, it should know which feature do you want to get yes uh, we get a polygon uh, this is a human readable lecture Another useful piece of data that you can get from the layer object is the special reference system which uh, describe the coordinate system that a uh, data set uses and you can access by print for example layer dot get special ref let me run As you can see here, we have some information about datum, stride, authority, and the other information about a uh, special reference, actually. And the last metadata that I won't talk about it is about schema. And now the last metadata that I won't talk about it is about the schema. For example, uh, whenever you want to get uh, the type of your uh, field, for example, uh, the type of the field here, let me show you my attribute table. For example, location ID maybe is integer, the zone is a string, uh, the object maybe is integer. Whenever you want to get the type of your uh, attributes, you can use a schema. For example, uh, for f in layer dot uh, schema, for example, we can print f dot name, the name of your attribute, and also the uh, type of your attribute. Get type name. 
Uh, let me print. Uh, I use a break here just I want to get one of the attributes. And uh, let me comment this lines because maybe we confuse. For example, as you can see, object integer. Let me see the attributes table. Yes, for example, here is object and uh, integer. Now I want to show you how to create a new layer. At the first, I comment all these uh, codes. For creating new layer, uh, I used a previous layer actually and uh, set my new layer same as a uh, previous layer. As edit mode, you should pass a 1 for the second parameter because I want to edit this layer. And then uh, I said that I want to create a new layer, so I said a new layer. It's a Manhattan shape file. Create, create layer, and we should pass three parameters into my layer. The first one is the name of my layer, new layer, for example. And the second one is the coordinate system. I want to use uh, the coordinate system of my previous layer. So I should get a layer first. And then I call, uh, for example, layer, or it's better to set old layer. I said old layer dot I get special ref as you remember we talked before and then uh, the third one is geometry type so I said OGR dot for example W call B well known binary for example polygon the same as uh, previous layer uh, and then uh, I need to create fields. Up to now, I create a layer. So uh, now I want to create attributes table for my layer. So uh, I should create fields actually. And I said a new layer dot create fields. And uh, this fields uh, also is same as uh, my previous layer. So uh, the schemas are the uh, same. So I said old layer dot schema. And then um, uh, up to now I create old fields. Uh, it means that for example, as you remember the attribute table as a different uh, object, shape length, uh, shape area, zone, location, ID, and broad. So uh, I created these uh, fields. Now I want to create a feature. So uh, at the first, I create a blank feature. Uh, for creating blank feature, you should get a definition of your layer and pass into the uh, feature. So I write feature, for example, definition. And uh, from a new layer, I want to get definition from a new layer. And I said, I uh, get layer uh, definition. Remember, uh, you get a feature definition after you have added, deleted, or update any fields. Uh, because if you get a feature definition first, and then you change uh, some fields, and the definition uh, become uh, out of date actually. So the new uh, the the new uh, actually feature it's um, OGR dot feature, and then uh, I pass a feature definition uh, to my uh, new feature. Uh, up to now, I create layer. From here and then I create the fields 
and I create blank feature. Now I want to fill the feature. Uh, I fill my features as the same as uh, this layer. So uh, I should create a loop throw into my uh, previous uh, layer, old layer. As you remember, when you do that, it goes and read uh, every feature step by step. So I said 4F in old layer, I get at the first a geom geometry actually. And I said F dot a geometry. I get a geometry of each feature. I get a geometry of each uh, row. Then I pass a geometry uh, into the new fee. So I said a new feature dot uh, set a geometry. And my geometry is uh, as previous layer. And then uh, I want to fill the value. I get it the geometry now I want to set all these values into my new layer so I said that I create a new loop uh, into attributes so I said that for I for example in range f dot get filled count as you remember, we talk about get a feature count and it gives us, for example, uh, all the number of the feature. For example, here we had it a 69 feature. But the, uh, this function, get field count, give us the number of attributes here. Uh, for example, here we have six attributes. So I said that. E read each attribute uh, as value f dot uh, get a uh, field and then uh, pass it new fee dot set field a uh, value uh, pass it i and value it means that for example the row number of i and the value it gets and after the loop is finished we create a uh, for example new layer dot uh, create feature and uh, we pass a new fee actually into the create features. Now let me show you how these two loop work together. Uh, at the first, we get a geometry of first feature, the first line of attribute table. We get this geometry and we pass it into the uh, new fee. New fee is uh, the feature that is a blank. It doesn't have any geometry or value. So we pass the geometry into the new fee. And then the, for the first feature, we have uh, some uh, different attributes. So we get these attributes by the value and we pass it into the feature. So we, our new feature, uh, it has a geometry and all these attributes are filled together. And don't forget that you should type Manhattan shapefile data source and set sync. To disk uh, because all the edits here uh, should save into our files and so we need to uh, close our file or sync to disk our file if we didn't do that just we have a layer uh, without any uh, features and uh, we have an empty layer actually okay let me run yes it's done and uh, let me Add it here. For example, new layer. As we can see, we have a new layer here. Let me open attribute table. Yes, the attribute table is work 
too. After here you learn a lot about the GDAL tutorial. Don't forget to push subscribe button and give me a thumbs up. Bye bye!